हे गाइस हाउ यू ऑल माय नेम इज हर्ष द्विवेदी फ्रेंड्स एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माय वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो फ्रेंड्स आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू द वेवल प्लान व्हिच वाज पुट फॉरवर्ड बाय लॉर्ड आर्चिबल्ड वेवल हु वाज द वॉइस रॉ ऑफ इंडिया हु रिप्लेस्ड लॉर्ड लिनलिथगो इन 1943 एंड देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट द शिमला कॉन्फ्रेंस दैट टुक प्लेस इन 1945 टू डिस्कस दिस वेवल प्लान सो दिस इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी फ्रेंड्स इफ यू वांट टू फॉलो मी यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम द लिंक ऑफ माय प्रोफाइल इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो Also, this video is in English, friends. If you want to watch the Hindi version of the video, its link is also given in the description box below, friends. Also, this is the uh, photo of that Simla session. This is the photo of Malala Abul Kalam Azad. Okay, this is the photo of Sir Raj Gopal Acharya. This is uh, uh, Jinnah Saab, and this is Rajendra Prasad ji. So, these were the dignitaries who were present there at the Simla conference, friends. So before this, the Sir Raj Gopal Acharya plan has already failed, friends. The video on Sir Raj Gopal Acharya plan has already been made by me and uploaded. So you can go and watch this video, friends. So when this Sir Raj Gopal Acharya plan failed, friends, and obviously the deadlock between the Muslim League and Indian National Congress was not able to be solved, it only strengthened because Muslims at any cost, Muslim League, not Muslims, Muslim League at any cost wanted to form Pakistan, and Indian National Congress at any cost was not ready to form Pakistan. so this was basically a clash between both the ideologies which was coming on for some time now friends now as i told you lord lenlithgow was replaced by lord archibald wevel as voice right 1943 so lord wevel came thought that okay this thing is not been able to be done by anyone now i will try to do it okay so it tried to bring a sort of compromise between muslim league and indian national congress so wevel plan was put forward let us have a look at the proposals of wevel plan friends so the proposals of wevel plan said that in the viceroy's executive council except the viceroy himself and the commander in chief all other members would be indian members in the viceroy's executive council also the strength of the viceroy executive council was 14 seats it was said that out of these 14 seats six will be reserved for the muslims not muslim league here i why muslim league i have written here i will tell you after some time so it was that that out of these 14 seats six will be reserved for muslims but there was a problem actually the percentage of population of muslims at that time in overall indian population was only 25% still six out of the 14 seats were given to them indian national congress didn't objected to this thing indian national congress objected to the point that jinna ji raised at the shimla conference jinna ji said that the six seats which are reserved for muslims only muslim league can nominate the representatives to the six seats now this thing was something which indian national congress objected to because indian national congress wanted to nominate maulana abul kalam azad to one of these six seats to which muslim league resented saying that only it has the right to nominate members to these six seats okay uh, we will talk to you about this in the while discussing shimla conference then representation was also given to six depressed class and other groups friends in this plan this was a sort of bandarbat the britishers normally used to do it giving representation to almost every group group okay then there was a foreign affairs portfolio of india this was transferred to an indian member friends only the defense portfolio was to be held by a britishers rest foreign affairs portfolio was transferred to an indian member now the governor general veto power will remain the veto of power of governor general will not go away and obviously this veto power of the governor general will be deployed in very rare and extra ordinary circumstances but it will be with the governor general also it is said that this lord archibald wevel called a conference in 1945 in shimla in june 1945 around and this conference was being called to nominate the members of this executive council of the governor general so this shimla conference 21 leaders were invited to this shimla conference on 25th of june 1945 and uh, <coughs> the point was that it was being called to break the deadlock between muslim league and indian national congress but that time the deadlock was not broken and the reason was very simple muslim league wanted a separate land and that is why it was putting forward so unreasonable demands that couldn't be accepted by the indian national congress now i have already told you friends that six out of the 14 seats were given to the muslims but muslim league and mohammad ali jinnah ji said that only muslim league has the rights to nominate muslim members and obviously if he is going to nominate them muslim members so they will be obviously from the muslim league only so this six of the 14 seats can be given only to the muslim league members this was being told 
also any constitutional law reform that would be taken there will be a communal veto on it that is the veto of muslim league would be there that is muslim league brought in a veto on the basis that okay if they feel that this constitutional legislation is not in interest of the muslims then the muslim league can veto it so it was a sort of communal veto friends so this communal veto can't be brought to any constitutional legislation and obviously the muslim league wanted to become the sole representatives of muslims in the country and it always wanted the indian national congress to agree to this fact that yes it is the only representative of the muslims in the country which indian national congress never agreed to indian national congress was always of the view that india is a secular country and each and every person living in india has some rights and he has equal rights it's a secular country so this was basically shimla conference nothing came out of it it was a total failure friends so i hope this video was clear to you friends if you really like this video please like this video it is a very short video kindly subscribe to my channel friends and if you don't like this video kindly tell through the comment section below friends that why you didn't like this video friends so thank you for watching my video friends have a good day goodbye